the Select Committee on Presidential Campaign Activities begins hearings into the extent to which illegal, improper, or unethical activities were involved in the 1972 presidential election campaign. And if these allegations proved to be true, what they were seeking to steal was not the jewels, money, or other property of American citizens, but something much more valuable, their most precious heritage, the right to vote in a free election. Since that day, a mood of incredulity <coughs> has prevailed among our populace, and it is the constitutional duty of this committee to act expeditiously to allay the fears being expressed by the citizenry and to establish the factual basis upon which these fears have been founded. The first phase of the committee's investigation will probe the planning and execution of the wiretapping and break-in of the Democratic National Committee's headquarters at the Watergate complex and the alleged cover-up that followed. If one of the effects of Watergate is public disillusionment with partisan politics, if people are turned off and drop out of the political system, that would be the greatest Watergate casualty of all. If, on the other hand, this national catharsis in which we are now engaged would result in a new and better way of doing political business, if Watergate produces changes in laws and campaign procedures, then Watergate may prove to be a great national opportunity to revitalize the political process and to involve even more Americans in the day-to-day -day work of our great political parties. 